Hi everyone, my name is Soumya. Just so you know, have you heard the average salary of a data scientist in India? Well, can you make a guess of it? Yes, it's more than 10 LP. Even a fresher gets 10 LP at least while they start their career as a data scientist. So now you must be wondering, how can we become data scientist and, and am I eligible to become a data scientist or how much time will it take to become one? skills that I have mentioned in this video and if you give at least 4-5 hours of your day to learn these things, you will become a data scientist in less than 4 months. So let us know what data science actually is assuming that you already know its background. So data science is bringing some useful insights for business from the unstructured raw data which is widely available and the data can be of past and present observation. Now that you have got some idea over data science, we will move ahead in this video and I am going to be mentioning the top 7 skills that you need to learn to become a data scientist. Number 7 on the list is Excel. Excel is debatably the easiest tool to learn data science. So Microsoft Excel is very powerful to leverage when working with the data. It has well established reputation in the data science community. Also the advanced functionalities such as Power Query, Pivot Table, VLOOKUP, all of these are the top functionalities that a data scientist use in their daily life. Alright, number 6 on the list we have is Python and Python for data science. Well, Python is just not enough in data science. We need certain libraries of Python to implement our statistical and mathematical modeling. So the first library that you are going to be learning in Python is NumPy. NumPy provides a mathematical function to handle the large dimensional arrays. It provides a lot of function for n dimensional arrays and matrices as well. The next library that we are going to be learning in data science is Pandas. Pandas is one of the most commonly used library in Python and it is used for data manipulation and data analysis. It provides a lot of useful function for data manipulation. Another library that we are going to be using in the Python is matplotlib. This one is used for data visualization. Descriptive an analysis which you are going to be learning in data science and the regression analysis is even more effective with this one. The fifth skill on the list is mathematics. If you are fond of mathematics then data science is for you. And if you learn these topics such as probability, permutation, combination, linear algebra, statistics then this field is totally yours because you are going to be uh, doing the analysis, visualization of certain data and you are making the clusters of data which in turn will benefit business people. So for that you have to have a sound knowledge over mathematical concepts. Fourth one on the list is SQL, SQL or structured query language. So in order to experiment with the data through creation of test environment, our data scientists use this language as a standard tool. To handle the structured data, we require the knowledge of SQL. The third skill on the list is Power BI and Tableau. Both of these are visualization tool. You can pick either of them. They both serve the same purpose except for the few functionalities in both of them. But they are more or less the same. And both of these are visualization tool. So visualization is basically uh, arranging your data in graphs and chart form. Power BI drags slowly while working with a large chunk of data, whereas Tableau can handle large chunk of data easily. Second thing on the list is cloud computing. Well, you may have heard that cloud computing and data science go hand in hand because the cloud computing gives a hand to a data science to use the platforms such as Azure, AWS, Google Cloud, etc. So you need to have thorough understanding and the practice over these cloud platforms that I mentioned. Number first on the list is machine learning and deep learning. Well, machine learning and deep learning is a very wide topic itself. You are not required to learn every single aspect of it. Few topics you need to have thorough understanding on that. So if you work with a company that manages large amount of data and the decision making on that company is data centric, then you need to have a good grasp over machine learning. The knowledge of the algorithms such as k-nearest neighbors, random forest, naive bias and regression model are very much needed to be learned to become a data scientist. Alright, this was it for this video. If the field of data science really fascinates you, let me know your story and your take on, on data science in the comment box below. I'll be happy to hear your stories on data science. Thank you. Bye bye. Take care.